Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario with Epitome Communications. Welcome to Epitome Training. Today we're going to go over alerts, dialed alerts. This is a new feature that we just came out with with our new 4.8.6 release. And I'm going to show you how to set it up. There are going to be four things to keep in mind with a dialed alert. Today we're going to do a 911 call. And what we're going to have it do is the alert is going to send out text messages through your queue, to your key manager. It's going to send out emails, notification, and it's also going to make a page to a group of phones with a particular prompt. Four things to keep in mind. You would already need to have your menu created, a group created, a scheduled call created, and then when you create the alert, you'll have everything that you need to make this work. And you'll understand at the end of this presentation exactly how it's going to come together. So the first thing you're going to want to do, again, you would have created a menu, a group for it to go to, and then a scheduled call, which is the scheduled call is going to be like a bridge. It's going to bridge your menu and your call group together to play a prompt. So we're going to create a new alert. And we're going to call this 911 call. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. You can call it uh, emergency. And again, this doesn't have to be only for 911. You could use it for a variety of things. We're going to enable it here, which is going to enable the alert. We're going to enable the text messaging for your key manager here. We're going to enable email alerts, notifications, and then since I wanted to make an announcement over a group of phones, I want to enable the scheduled call. This is for inbound alerts, which in this case is not going to come into play, but there are a variety of other things that you can use these alerts for, such as retail applications. That would come into effect, but in this case, we're just going to put none in here. Next, you have the text of the email uh, or the body of the email and the text of what you're going to see. In this case, it's going to say an emergency alert to 911 has been initiated from extension, whatever it was dialed from, at this particular time. These little percentage signs here are variables. This is the alert to 911. This is the dialed number from the extension, which is this variable here, at this particular time. You can change your text in here to say whatever you want it to say but I would leave these variables alone here because you're going to want to know what was dialed, where it came from, and at what time. So everything else you could change around these particular variables. If you have Queue Manager on your system, you're just going to load on whatever Queue Manager recipients you want to have here. Then you're going to add in your emails here. And of course, you can have your emails text your phone or whatever you want to do. You can also find out from your particular cell phone carrier how to, how to uh, send over to your phone directly if you'd like to do that. If you're going to have a lot of people receiving these messages, you would probably want to create a group email address that would go out and, and email several people. Uh, I wouldn't go crazy here putting you know, 40 or 50 emails in this thing. Uh, I would keep it you know, pretty simple. Next down here is your scheduled call. I'm going to use alert help. That's what I have created in there now. Again, you can name it whatever you want. You can call it emergency or whatever you'd like. You're going to add that over on this side because this is the call group. Or I'm sorry, this is the scheduled call that this alert is going to use to make the bridge from your menu, which plays the prompt, to your called group. In this case, it's going to be a multicast paging group. You want to save your changes when you're done. So now we have a created alert for 911 call. Then we're going to go over to our scheduled calls. We already have it made. We could call this emergency. In this case, it's just called alert help. And what you're going to do here is create a scheduled call that's going to make a bridge between the menu and the multicast paging group. So you put your name in here, and you're always going to need to start an end time. This is just going to tell you when what period of time this scheduled call is going to be active for. If it's a 911 call, you're probably going to just going to want to set it to 
you know, way out here because it's kind of kind of the permanent alert. Here you don't need to check off your recurrences or anything like that. You don't need to worry about the execute time because the alert is what's going to trigger this. Call first. What you want to call first is your menu. And you're going to create a menu that's exclusively used in conjunction with this alert. It's going to play a particular prompt and it's going to say whatever you want it to say. It'll say, check your email for an important announcement. So here I have 3232 32 in there. That's my menu. Then I want it to connect to my particular paging group. In this case, it's a multicast paging group, and that group is 411. Finally, I need to make sure that it has permission to make the call. So I just pick an extension that has permission to make calls. It's in a class of service and it's going to use that particular permission of that phone to make, complete the call. And that's all you need to set up here except for the fact that you need to have it enabled down at the bottom. If you want to use this scheduled call uh, for, for you can direct dial the number in order to activate it you can turn this on have a triggered uh, number that would trigger this and then a security pin. So the reason why you might would use this would be maybe for a teacher that was having a problem with a, a student but perhaps it wasn't serious enough to dial 911 maybe they pick up the phone dial the quick code and it sends uh, an announcement over to the principal or something like that so that might be something that you would use that for in this case we're not going to worry about it it's not going to be used next your menu which is 3232 you would have a menu created for this particular application. This one's called School Bell. Again, you can call it whatever you want. Emergency 3232 is the number. We had that put in the scheduled call. And then here is where you're going to select your prompt. And you would go in, you would record a prompt specifically for an emergency. And you would select that prompt and then save. And this, all this is menu is going to be used for is to play this prompt. Finally, you need a destination. And the destination, as I said, is a multicast paging group that I have created here. And I have my phone extensions here, the members in this particular box. That's going to page when the schedule call makes the call. It's going to make that announcement over these particular phones. Now, you can use whatever destination you'd like. You could just make a regular call group. The reason I suggest using your multicast uh, paging to do something like this, depending on the amount of extensions you have, is that it just uses an audio path. It doesn't actually take the phone off a hook like a regular call group would do. So if you're going to have several members, you would just use a multicast paging group. But you can choose whichever works best for you. Last but not least, if your dialed alert goes outside the system, it's not just a code that you're dialing. In this case, 911. You want to go to your call routing, go to your outgoing, and you want to go to emergency where you're going to have your 911 built. It's going to go out whatever trunks you have here, whether it's a PRI or a SIP trunks or whatever you have in there. But here down at the bottom, it says assign alert notification. You want to have this set to whichever alert you created. So we have three different alerts created. You see them here in the drop-down menu. I created 911 call, and that's what I'm going to select. And then, of course, save changes here, apply changes up here, and you're ready to go. So just for a summary, a brief summary, let's look and see how this whole thing works. Person dials 911. They call the uh, police. This particular, this triggers this particular alert that I created. So we go to destinations. This alert that I created is here. What it, this alert does when 911 is dialed, it sends out my email and text here as I've got, as I have so, uh, written out in this body here. It's going to text out my key manager recipients and it's going to email out to whoever I have in here. And then it's going to use this particular schedule call that I created to, in this case, it's alert help. I go over to my 
scheduled call. The scheduled call that I created works as a bridge. It calls 3232 menu where I have my prompt recorded. It's going to play my prompt. It's going to connect it over to my multicast paging group 411 and then make the announcement. And that's how a dialed emergency alert works. I hope this helps you. There's a lot of cool things that you can do with this feature and I think our customers are really going to get a lot out of this particular application. Thanks for attending Epitome Training and we'll see you next time.